Hey everyone, Ryan from Foxtech here, and today I'm going to show you how to clean up junk files on your iPhone. If you've noticed your device slowing down or running out of space, this guide will help you clear out unnecessary files and free up storage. Let's jump right into it. The first thing you can do is clear out your browser cache and cookies. Open the Settings app, scroll down to Safari, and tap Clear History and Website Data. This will remove any cached data and cookies stored from browsing, which can take up a lot of space over time. Next, head over to Settings. Tap General, then go to iPhone Storage. Here, you can review all the apps on your device and see how much space they're using. If there are any apps you're no longer using, it's a good idea to delete them. You can also enable the Offload Unused Apps feature, which automatically removes apps you don't use frequently while keeping their data saved, so you can reinstall them later without losing anything important. Another thing that can quickly eat up storage is large attachments in your messages. Go back to iPhone Storage and select Review, Large Attachments. This will show you any large media files that have been sent through iMessage. You can manually delete these attachments to free up even more space. Don't forget to take a look at the Photos app. Go through your photos and videos, deleting anything you no longer need. Once you've done that, remember to empty the recently deleted folder to permanently remove those files and clear up space. Also, check the Files app for any unneeded documents. If you've been downloading files or saving documents that are no longer necessary, you can delete them directly from here to clear out even more storage. Finally, restart your iPhone. This helps clear out temporary cache files that accumulate in system memory. It's a quick and easy step that can refresh your device and help it run more smoothly. That's all for today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope these tips help you clean up junk files on your iPhone. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. See you later.